Now this is actually a really cool trick. I'm going to get logged into my router real quick. I use the enable command to get into the enable or privilege mode. Then I use my secret password. Now I'm going to display my configuration. To do this, all I'm going to do is scroll all the way to the end so that the entire configuration can be displayed. Now keep in mind that your terminal may not give you all the lines like mine here. Let me see if it has actually kept it all in buffer. Yeah, this one actually did. If your terminal does not get all of your commands in the buffer, you can always change that option. Before I actually change this option though, let me copy this. Let's go ahead and copy this config because all it is is text in your terminal. You can usually set up to keep more lines in your buffer here. You can make the buffer to say 1000 lines. I'm going to go ahead and do that for future reference, but notice that I've now copied this by highlighting all the way back to the version. Now I'm going to open up a new text document. And when I do this, I'm going to be able to paste this configuration into the text document. You'll notice that it's actually displaying my encrypted passwords and all my interface information. If I scroll up, you'll actually see my service password encryption. What is so neat about this is that this text document can be used to paste the configuration back. Now I'm going to go back to my router, get back to a prompt, and I'm actually going to do a write erase. A write erase is actually going to destroy my NVRAM file system and remove startup config. I'm going to go ahead and confirm it. I don't want any configuration to remain, and I'm actually going to use my text file to restore this router's config. So you can see here that it has removed all the files from NVRAM. Now I'm going to type reload to reload my router. I'm not going to save my configuration here because I want it to come up without any config. I'll proceed with my reload and my router will now reboot. Now what we would expect from this router that has no configuration is to come up in the auto configuration setup mode. That is going to verify that it has no config right now. So let's watch it boot. There's my bootstrap. Here comes my iOS image load from flash into RAM being decompressed at this point. Now we can actually consider this router to be a new router. Assume that my other router failed and now I've put in a new router. I need to make sure that the configuration on this router is exactly the same as the old one. And I'm going to tell you a real quick way to do it. 